Hi everyone, I'm Kat. I'm a coach and the co-owner of Session Training in Brooklyn. This is Good Moves with Well and Good. I'm gonna take you through a full body strength and mobility workout to improve your posture. All the movements you're gonna see are great for strengthening, mobilizing, and lengthening the muscles and the joints that are key for maintaining strong, healthy posture, whether you're sitting or standing all day. Before we get started, let's get into a quick warm up. So we'll start at the back of our space. You can have a mat in front of you. Go ahead and just take some knee hugs, hugging your knee into your chest, staying nice and upright through the torso. Good, hug your knee into your chest, staying upright, maintain your balance, and then just let the leg go. Do about a three-step jog in between to switch. You'll feel a little bit of release in the hip flexor and in the glutes. Start to activate the core to help you to stabilize and balance. Let's get one more on each side. Great, and then just make sure you have space in front of you. We'll plant both feet just about shoulder width distance. We'll take it to walk outs. Hinge from the hips, hands meet the floor. Trying to keep the legs straightened out, let's just walk hand to hand out into a tall plank. Pause for a moment, take an inhale. On your exhale, hike the hips up back, walk the hands back to the feet, and just through the spine, roll it up nice and slow. We'll take that about four more times, and hinge, walking out with control, trying not to shift in the hips. If you like, you can always drop to the knees for your plank, pause for a second. Reset, then walk it back. You should feel a nice stretch in the hamstrings. Start to feel the core fire up. Awesome, let's take that two more times. Last one. Walk it all the way out. Pause, hold, shoulders stacked over the wrists. Then walk it all the way back. Nice slow roll up through the spine. We're gonna take it to YW's next. So nice, strong, upright position. We'll bring the arms up into a Y shape like you're doing the YMCA. Thumbs are facing behind you, biceps by the ears. You'll pull down into a W shape. So think elbows close to the torso, pull them just slightly back. And inhale, reach up, exhale, pull down. Your core, your glutes are active to support you so you can isolate a little bit more into the upper back and in the shoulders. We'll take a few more reps here for three, two, and one, shake it out. Last thing, we'll take it to a side lunge. So we'll take it stationary. Nice wide stance, all 10 toes face forward. You'll push the hips down and then back. Feel that stretch in the inner thigh of the opposite leg and then push through the heel of the stand. We'll take that alternating. Take these as slow or as fast as you would like. Just make sure you're not rounding too far forward with the upper back. Keep the weight into your heels. Let's take about two more on each side. Make sure your knee just stays tracking right over your middle toes and all 10 toes face forward. Here for three, two, and one. All right, step it in, shake it out. We are going to get started. So for our format today, we have two sets of work, three exercises in each set. Our work time is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 15 seconds to rest. We're gonna go through everything two times. All you're gonna need today is a long loop resistance band, just like what I have right here. But if you don't have that, you can also use a mini band or even take all these movements body weight today and I'll show you how to do those. All right, so let's get started with our first set. We start with a seated band row. So you can take your band, sitting up nice and tall, focusing again on posture. We'll loop the band around the soles of the feet and then sitting up nice and tall and upright. We'll alternate with the arms first. So driving one elbow back past the torso and then extend the arm, we'll switch to the other side. Once we've done one on each, we take it to a row with both. So now we're making sure the chest stays proud, our core is active to support our upper back to stay nice and tall. And if keeping the legs straightened out is a lot for you, you can always take a bend in the knees like what I have here. All right, let's get one more on each side. Again, staying up nice and upright as you drive the elbow back. Three, two, one. All right, for our second exercise, we are going to use the band again. We'll go ahead and just step into it, feet at shoulder width distance, and then just rack the band here at your chest level. Elbows are slightly wider than the torso. You exhale as you push up overhead, biceps end by the ear, and then control as you lower back down. Your breathing pattern here, you can inhale as you lower, use your exhale as you push. Again, keeping your chest proud, just like that seated band row. 
making sure we're not rounding in the lower back. If you're starting to feel that, you can always think to activate the core and think about tucking your pelvis right underneath your rib cage. Awesome, here for three, two, one. All right, for our third exercise, you're not gonna need the band, so just place it down. We'll take it to a side lunge rotation. Feet are out nice and wide, just like in our warm up. all 10 toes face forward. We'll lunge into one side, so bend into one knee. Opposite hand is gonna just grab onto the thigh to support you, and then we'll open up and twist through the trunk. Eyes look up to the hand, reset, and then we'll switch. All right, all of those movements again, we'll take it back to the top. Start with that seated band row. If you have a mini band, you can always just pop it around the wrists. You can always take this one body weight. We're there in three, two, one. All right, so you can notice as well, my legs are not fully straightened out because that's where I'm at today. If that's where you're at, you can straighten the legs out or you can take a bend in the knees to support to have that upright posture because that is our focus on this movement. And making sure we're not rounding in the lower back and your rib cage stays closed every time we pull the arms back. Awesome, we got about 15 seconds here. <sighs> Trying not to let the shoulders hike up. We wanna make sure your elbow just goes right past your rib cage. Here for three, two, one. All right, shake it out. We'll take it to our overhead press next. Standing into the band. You want your feet at about shoulder width distance to support you. And we go ahead and rack it at chest level. Palms are facing up. We're there in three, two, one. Here we go. Pressing up, bicep ends in line with the ear, and then control as you lower. That eccentric part of the movement is just as important in building strength on this exercise. So slow on the lower, and then push through it. Use your exhale. <sighs> Making sure the shoulders aren't shrugging up here. That's how we're working on our posture. Shoulders stay rolled down the back, especially as you lower and keeping your rib cage closed. We're here for three, for two, and one. All right, we'll place the band down. We'll get into that side lunge rotation one more time. Feet are out nice and wide. We go in three, two, one. Remember, just think about your range of motion, whatever works for you today. Support yourself on that thigh and then focus on going for that nice deep twist. So we're getting into the inner thighs, we're strengthening the quads and the glutes, and we're also mobilizing through your thoracic spine. Lots of moving parts here. You can breathe through it, inhale as you sink down, exhale as you twist. Let's get one more on each side. Don't need to move fast through these ones, you wanna stay in control. Awesome, we're here for three, two, one. Great, shake it out, that is set one, done. We'll get into our next set of exercises, working with the same timing, and we have three exercises we're gonna move through. All right, so we're gonna need our band for this first exercise. We have a band lat pull down. We'll take this standing, you'll grab on with the band long ways, and we'll start with that Y shape, like in our warm up. So we bring the band up overhead, creating tension here through it, lock the lats down into place so we're not shrugging in the shoulders, and then you'll pull down into that W shape. So think elbows down and back to your torso. Inhale as we reach up, exhale, as you pull. Kind of reversing that band overhead press, we're taking it to a pull. And the more tension you have on the band, the more you really feel your lats working. Very similar to the overhead press. You want your core, your glutes to be helping to stabilize you as you focus on the upper and mid back. Let's get two more reps in here. Last one, three, two, one. All right. That's the only movement we're using the band for. We'll take it to the ground for a figure four bridge. Getting more into our hip flexors and into our glutes. So start laying on the ground, set yourself up, crossing one ankle over the top of the opposite knee, and then we'll take it to a bridge. Fingertips should just barely graze your heel. You'll drive through the heel of the working leg, extend through the hips, and then control as you lower the hips down. Hips can tap the floor, and then think push through the heel. So you feel a little bit of a stretch through the hip flexors as you open up, and you feel the glutes working as you drive through the heel. Awesome, let's go ahead and switch sides on this one. Same idea, ankle over the top, the opposite knee. <sighs> Stabilize, try to make sure the hips stay in line with each other as you bring the hips up. 
Good, remember we're engaging the glute and the hamstring as we raise the hips. Let's get one more rep. Three, two, one. Awesome, you can hug the knees in, we'll rock ourselves up. And our last exercise is a push-up to pike. A little bit of strength, a little bit of mobility for your upper back. So we will start in a tall plank and we'll start with our push-up. Feet are about shoulder width distance. You'll lower down with control, elbows to about a 45 degree angle. Exhale to push away from the floor. Hips go up and back to pike. Try to get your heels down to the floor just as close as you can and then reset back for your push-up. Shoulders stacked over the wrist, use your breath. Inhale, lower. <sighs> Exhale to push. Hips up and back, take a moment, feel that stretch in the upper back. You always have that option as well to drop to the knees for your push-ups. So you can still focus on your range of motion, staying strong in that pushing movement, and then enjoy that stretch as you push the hips up and back. All right, let's get one more rep in. Awesome, enjoy that stretch. And then let's reset. We'll take that to the top. We'll do all those three just one more time. Let's grab onto our band. Maybe just shake it out in the upper body a bit. And then let's get started with that lat pull down. So bring the arms up overhead, biceps by the ear in that Y shape, and then we pull down. Now, if you're using a mini band, you can use the mini band around the wrists. You can even take those YWs like what we did in our warm up body weights. And we want to keep tension on the band. You'll feel the arms working, feel the lats working, and your core and your glutes are supporting you. Then reach and pull. Lots to work on here with our posterior chain, but our anterior muscles, the muscles on the front side of the body, are really going to help to support that healthy posture just as much as the muscles on the back side of your body. Here for three, two, one. Awesome, shake it out. We're done with the band. We'll take it to our figure four bridge once again. Meaning on your backs, remember your fingertips should just be able to tap your heel of the working leg. Take that figure four shape, ankle over the top of the opposite knee. And here we go, push through the heel, use your exhale, find your stability at the top, and then just control as you lower. You can rest down on the floor, you can just tap the hips to the floor if you want a little bit more of a challenge. Remember, you should feel a little bit of opening for the hip flexors. You're sitting a lot. This should feel nice to feel that a little bit of a stretch for the hips. Let's take one more on this side, and then we'll switch. Cross it over, keep the ankle flexed so you're just protecting your knee, protecting your ankle. And try to keep your weight in your heel of that working leg. That's how we engage the glute. Let's get two more reps in. For three, two, one. Awesome, hug the knees in for a little bit of release here in the lower back. And then we'll bring ourselves up. Last time at our pike to push up. So let's go ahead and get ourselves stacked into our tall plank or plank from the knees. And here we go. Slow control lower, push away from the floor, hips up and back, feel that nice stretch through the backs of the legs, through the lats. Reset, and we're back in. Chest and hips lower in one line together, even if you're taking that variation with your knees to the ground. You don't need to move fast through this one. You wanna move with control. Enjoy every part of that stretch as you push the hips up and back. And don't forget your breath. Inhale, lower. <sighs> Exhale, push. Let's get one more rep in here. One strong quality push-up. Finish strong for three, two, and one. All right, drop the knees, take a moment, shake it out. Awesome, awesome job, y'all. If you're looking to do a little bit more, you're always welcome to run it back. Do those sets again one more time. Hopefully you felt like you learned a little bit from those movements and can integrate that into your training. Let's get into a quick little cool down. So just meet me down in quadruped. We'll go ahead and take a thread the needle. So plant one hand to the ground. We'll open up, twist, opening through the chest. Feel that nice stretch there. And then mobilizing through your thoracic spine. We'll weave the arm through your right side of your head to the floor. And then just walk your fingertips forward of the opposite arm, pushing the hips back. Should feel a nice stretch for the lats, for the rhomboids in between the shoulder blades. Walk the hand back and then we'll just reset. Same idea, plant the hand, extend the arm, and then go ahead and weave it through. Side of the head to the floor, walk the fingertips forward, enjoy that twist through the spine and that stretch in between the shoulders. Here for three, 
two, one. We'll go ahead and step one foot forward now into a low runner's lunge. And we'll just stretch out into the hip flexors just a little bit more and into your quad. Your chest is almost parallel to the ground. Your hands can support you. If you have some books or a block, you can always have them on either side to support you as well. And we'll take it to the hamstrings next. Push the hips back. After those bridges, this should feel nice. Let the toes face up. And feel that go from the calf to the hamstring for three, two, one. We'll do all of that on the other side. All right, holding his position for another three, two, and one. All right, shake it out, y'all. Awesome, awesome job. Again, that was full body strength and mobility to improve your posture. Hopefully you can take some of the movements and integrate it into your day to day. You might see a difference in your posture, whether you're sitting or standing. Again, I'm Kat. This is Good Moves with Well and Good. If you want more videos like this, subscribe below.